I started teaching Sunday school about seven or eight years ago. I saw Jen Hart sitting alone all the time upstairs at church, so I had God put it on my heart and I resisted teaching the youth because they're a little older and it's a little more intimidating and those ages can sometimes be a little unlovely. Um, but God wouldn't let it go and I prayed for weeks and weeks and then one day I told April, I think Chris Hart needs some help. He had mentioned it in a recent meeting and she said, I will talk to him and within an hour, Chris had contacted me and I was teaching the youth the very next week. When I'm with the kids, the generations kind of disappear when I'm honest and vulnerable with what, how I have to rely on God and the dependency and my struggles um, in an appropriate manner. When they see realness um, in me or in their leaders, then those walls get broken down and there just becomes a very uh, beautiful merging and um, we just become a community just speaking about where we struggle, how we need to rely on God. And every single week, more than once, I am blown away with what they share with me, which helps me to grow. And I pray for them too, so. Um, my name's Morgan Wetherspoon, and I enjoy helping out uh, the youth group with doing different cooking events and uh, different fundraising events that they have. Uh, just because I have a heart for young kids and just like helping out wherever I can. Josh and I kind of got together and we decided, you know, we wanted to have a lock-in, but we didn't have one to have like the traditional lock-in at the church. So we decided to do a camp out at, at, at my house just to see them actually serve the men the next day at the men's breakfast that we also had. It was just kind of a great thing with both groups, you know. We had a nice time. There were other uh, fathers there and we were just teaching young men how to be men and uh, what that looks like from a godly perspective. I'm not there all the time in youth, so when I do, you know, show up and come through the hallway or whatever, there are guys that will come up to me and kind of share things and, and I think that's really special um, because I do have that connection with them. And it means a lot to these kids, you know, and, and that's what it's all about, just loving on them, you know. My name is Desiree Taylor, and I've been helping with the youth for several years. My heart to serve has come from my own past, really. When I was a teenager, and I didn't really have anyone walking with me, and I realized what a benefit that that could have been to me, and I want to be that for another girl. My gift tends to be towards the relational end of things, so I spend time writing cards to the girls and uh, making contact with them face to face and uh, walking alongside them. Also, I have been starting Facebook group with uh, girls who are in the junior senior year age and the young adult age. So I've been doing that and I also have a heart for the moms because I am a mom. So I have been uh, doing a couple Facebook groups with the moms as well, one for girls and one for boys and um, just helping us encourage one another as moms too. There's been different blessings along the way. I know that um, there was some unresolved healing for me from my teenage years and God's used this serving time with them to bring some healing to my own life. 